What's going on everybody and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of the Orphic Atlantic V4 Compact. I did get the boring part out of the way and unboxed it. What I want to do in this video is take a quick look at it and show you guys exactly what comes with it, why I like it, and what I'm going to be using it for. But first, I want to thank Orphic. They sent this stuff out to me to do video on, put it to the test. I had a lot of questions about this product. I, I read a lot of, lot of impressive, great things about it. So now I get to put it to the test and see for myself how this all works. So some of this stuff does not come with the Atlantic V4. For one, t-shirt. It's t-shirt time and it's my size. This is a really nice shirt. Team Orphic, there he is. So next, something that does not come with it that I'm going to definitely be doing a video on is their lens kit. This is for your cell phone. This is what makes the corals look really good when the blues are popping. Another thing is the Azor light. This is their coral inspection light. I'm going to be doing a video on this, what I'm going to be using it for, and we'll take a look at exactly what it looks like. And one last thing that does not usually come with it is the gateway. The gateway is what controls your light. This is something that you must have, especially if you want to use tons and tons of light. This controls one and all of the Orphic lights that you have. This is a must have. So now let's take a look at what it does come with. Comes with the instruction manual, internet cable, and your hanging kit. I was taking a look at this hanging kit and I really, really like it. It's a night, it's like a gunmetal gray kind of, so it's, I really like it. it. comes with the hooks. It's fully adjustable. Good stuff. Next is the power cords. Now, one thing I like about power cords is when they're really long. Nothing worse than having extension cords go into your light fixtures. I don't remember the exact length of each of these cords. If you guys want to check out all the information, I will leave the link to their Facebook group below. Highly recommend go checking it out. They will have all the answers for you. Now, this is the Meanwell driver. Pretty sure from the research I did, this is the or one of the best drivers for an aquarium light. Great specs on it. I have seen zero issues with this online on the way it works. Super heavy, that's for sure. Now, let's take a look at the light itself. When I first saw these, I was extremely impressed, and I've wanted one ever since. What we're going to be doing now, real quick, is we're going to go over the measurements. Everybody wants to know measurements. So, it's a little over 13 and a half inches long. It is exactly 9 and a quarter front to back, and the height of it is 2 and a quarter inches. So, it's a pretty small unit for how much power it packs. Now, one of the things that really drew me to this is the blend, the amount of LEDs, the wavelengths. The wavelengths on this range from 380 nanometers all the way up to 850 nanometers. That, that 14 times wavelength on these LEDs is truly impressive. So, let's take a look at it. There's another couple things I wanna show you guys and what I thought about it. Look at that. Is that not, that's a good looking light fixture super heavy duty really well put together now i'm putting my fingers all over this and i'm not worried normally i would be worried i'd be worried that i'm going to get the lenses dirty i'm going to break something push something in well this has that super thick acrylic cover on it i like to think of this as a sneeze guard for my leds right all i have to do is have a nice microfiber towel and a spray Clean this off, and it keeps the LEDs absolutely safe and no scratches on it. Fingerprints, not even worried. Again, light is nice and heavy. Comes with these really nice, strong mounting hooks. You can also get a um, mounting bracket to mount it directly to the tank. That option is up to you guys. Like I said, it does come with the hanging kit, which I'm going to be doing with this light fixture. So... Let me set all this up real quick and we'll go over everything one last time. 
All right, so here it is. Again, I want to thank Orphic for the opportunity. I am going to be putting this to the test. We are going to be putting this over a new basement grow out system. We're going to be getting a whole bunch of frags, putting it down here in the basement specifically for that light fixture to document and get updates on the coral growth and coloration and all around health. So Lanik V4 Compact is going to be mounted over that tank. That's going to be on an upcoming video. Also, the Orphic Azor Light. Where do you guys see this? You're truly going to be impressed. And again, the cell phone gel filter clip. This, this is going to be exciting. So again, thanks Orphic. Everything that I've read is truly impressive. And that's what this new build is going to be for specific, specifically for this light. Again, thanks for watching everybody. And I'll see you on the next one. All right, I just want to thank you guys again for stopping by. If you did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And while you're here, hit that little crab icon to subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell for any future videos or updates. And in case you haven't seen these two videos, you might want to click on one and check it out. Again, thanks for stopping by.